Let's recreate this shot in 3D. I use the landscape object to get the right scale for the shot so I can get the right proportions and light effect. I immediately sculpted the main rock and overlaid the original shot so I can really nail the shape and overall composition just right. Brought a few cliffs and terrains from Quixel Bridge. and collected a bunch of small rocks to scatter over the ground. I made sure to add subsurface scattering to the rocks so I can really nail that realistic look, but I ended up really cranking it down just to get a subtle SSS effect. Then I went to Substance Painter and tried to match the rock texture as in the original shot. I think I'm getting addicted to Substance Painter. It's just a dream come true to anyone who's interested in texturing. If you enjoyed this content, please consider supporting on Patreon or membership. Lots of cool perks there like project files and free products, but mainly you'll help me make more and better content for y'all. And I totally understand that not everyone can support financially, but even subscribing and engaging with the content really helps this channel grow. Either way, I really appreciate you. And from then on, it was just getting the details just right. I tried messing with different fog effects to get that bluish fade in the horizon. Honestly, Octane's fog effects are kind of annoying. They're either too thick or too thin, and it's really hard getting them just right. I think they should add certain presets to get you started because a thick hazy fog is so different from that bluish tint on the very far horizon that exists even on a clear day. I tried rendering with a fog object and without it, trying to add the fog using the Z depth paths in post, which turned out fine, but eventually I ended up using the fog object very lightly and it felt like I finally got it right.
color graded the render and after effects which man that's always the toughest part for me color grading is truly a bitch it doesn't help that after effects kind of sucks at it i had one project that i tried color grading in davinci resolve and i was just absolutely shocked how much better it is in working with colors how can there be such a difference i don't get it thing is i'm so used to after effects and locked into the adobe ecosystem and i don't really usually do a lot of heavy color grading that it never really made me want to start using resolve on a regular basis but but this series really makes me want to just pick it up and use it for color grading. Even though just today I was recommended to work with Fusion uh, instead of Resolve. Since Resolve is not really made for CGI, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, that's the final render. I ended up rendering the background and foreground separately. That helped me render the animation faster since I only needed to render the foreground and also gave me a bit more control over the color grading. This was much easier and quicker than the last one and I'm not surprised it's a pretty simple and straightforward scene but I still loved it and I absolutely love that scene in the movie. If you haven't watched it yet please do yourself a favor and go watch it. It's a really unique movie. Anyway thanks for watching. Consider supporting on Patreon and a sausage fingered high five to all my unique patrons and members you see on the screen right now. I love you. Have a great day. Peace.